I am so curious what the original plan was for WrestleMania in 2020 before the world shut down. Were you going to have an actual match with Bray Wyatt? Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, things happened. And I remember uh, three days before we filmed the Firefly Funhouse match, it was the last TV taping where they came in and they were like, you're going to have a Firefly Funhouse match. And I remember those three people in one of the conference rooms in NXT with me. I said, what's a Firefly Funhouse match? <laughs> said, I don't know. I said, great. What, what can we do? And that was like, oh man, like, again, control the controllable. I wish we had an audience. Like performers, like, I wish I could, I wish there could be blood. I wish we could do chair shots to the head. I wish we could swear. I wish I could flip people off. Control the controllable. Use the tools in your tool belt. How do we make something entertaining over a two-day period with no audience? And we, they gave us a stipulation. Everybody else just has a regular match. Sure. And it's your stip. Like, it's your stip. It's not a doctor of thugonomics match or a hustle, loyalty, respect match. That's completely different. You have these definitive characters. You have all this ammunition. You have all this personality. And that's what people really radiate towards. When you put on that NWO shirt. Holy shit, we could make this a meta look at my life. Like, and we could get away with it. What do we have up in the warehouse? We have the fist, the blue cage. I can get some NWO stuff. Dude, we can make this work. And I remember this is the only match I've ever written, for, I've written from start to finish. Wow. And uh, my poor wife, I made her print it out. And I'm writing and giving her paper. And she's, what is, this is this what does it even mean i just print it i just need it <laughs> and somewhere i still have the original draft of, in my handwriting of the firefly wow Fox, but man bray couldn't have been better he like knew what was up he knew the whole thing and it, i'd never i wrote it like the night before so i'm trying to text these guys like i got something weird uh and i, I think i might have sent a picture of the um the draft yeah and I still, in my phone, I don't have it with me, but I have it saved. A text that I sent him the night of the match, especially after we saw the Undertaker's match, like, four of them. And there was a whole lot more physicality. We got one punch. And, and I texted him how nervous I was, but I wanted to thank him for being so brave and trusting me. And I think we, you know, I, I couldn't have done any more. And I, I think we, we gave it our best shot and hopefully it works. And it, it was... That was, that was an effort that I am very proud of. 